Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to deal with the error message of the GG plot 2 package error aesthetics must be length 1 or the same as data. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can load with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, you can see the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and two columns, whereby the first column X is consisting of the values of our groups and the column Y is consisting of numeric values. Now, let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar. And in lines 8 and 9 of the code I'm trying to create a bar plot with red and blue colors. And for that reason I'm trying to specify the fill argument to be equal to red and blue. However, if you run lines 8 and 9 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message aesthetics must be either length 1 or the same as data is returned. And the reason for that is that the length of our color vector is equal to 2. However, our data contains 5 different groups. So in other words, we have specified less colors then we have groups in our data. And one simple solution for that is that we specify the fill argument simply to be equal to the grouping column. So in this case our grouping column is the column x and for that reason I'm specifying the filling argument to be equal to x. So if you run lines 11 and 12 of the code you can see that our bar plot is created at the bottom right and the error message aesthetics must be either length one or the same as data is not returned anymore. So in this video I have explained how to create a ggplot2 bar plot without getting the error message aesthetics must be either length one or the same as data. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this tutorial in some more detail and I will put a link to the tutorial on my homepage into the description of this video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.